everyone this is sherry from planning peep and welcome back to my channel i know it's been so so long since i filmed a plan with me um i probably haven't planned since i don't know like early december or something so i'm really looking forward to this and this is also the first time that i'm filming in my new house um i did have to change up my filming setup and get some new equipment so um this is going to be kind of a test trial i'm not sure how this is going to work we'll see if the videos turn out okay and hopefully they do um but anyways for this spread today i have a kit from simply said life and i thought this was so pretty and it's in gold foil which i love so really quickly here we have the full boxes we've got a um, full box heart checklist and then some habit trackers here in the center the second page here is foiled and we've got like a ton of bow headers we have some little um, scallop icons here text stickers hexagon and circle stickers uh, some deco pieces a weekend banner that's foiled which is so pretty we have the let's see which way it goes oh I think it's this way we have the date covers and the bottom washi see like I said it's been too long and then um, this last page here is not foiled and it includes all the boxes some build do stickers um, some little check flags here we've got two more or I'm sorry two Monday through Sunday boxes for the sidebar and then some three heart checklists here um, for your to do's so this is the kit that I'm gonna be working with I thought this would be so perfect for November and yeah like I said um, I'm just so excited to be planning again to lay down stickers it's just been too long and I hope everything turns out well and that I'll be able to post this um, so yeah let's just go ahead and jump right in I really debated about whether I wanted to post this plan with me because my filming setup didn't work out quite as well as I was hoping. Unfortunately, the new camera holder that I have um, attaches to my desk. So whenever I write or like place down stickers, sometimes it shakes my desk, which ends up shaking my camera. So I really hope you guys don't feel too nauseous or too sick from watching this. Um, I still decided to post it just because I did spend a lot of time filming and editing, but if it ends up being too much for you guys, I totally understand and that's okay um, I'm going to try to fix the problem I haven't figured out how yet but I'm gonna try to think of another solution so anyways, um, the other thing I want to say before I jump into talking about the video is that I want to make this a leftovers giveaway. Um, I haven't done one in a while and I have quite a lot of stickers in my stash. I also recently received a box of leftover stickers from one of my subscribers. Um, she really wanted to share these stickers and just asked if I would include them in a giveaway. So for this giveaway, I'm going to be choosing three winners and each of you will be receiving a package of leftover stickers. Um, if you're interested in entering the giveaway, simply comment below and say giveaway or giveaway entry so that I know you are interested in entering and um, I'll be picking the winners in about a week. I'm going to leave all the details down below, but yeah, there's going to be three winners. So good luck everyone. Okay, now moving on to my spread, I've now placed down all of the base, including the washi, sidebar, date covers, and I am now on Monday. I first started by placing down a bow header, and as always, I love to get coffee on Monday mornings because I'm always so tired returning from the weekend. That coffee sticker is from Hazel Sticker, and then I just wanted to mark that I did a ton of report writing at work, so that little laptop icon is from the kit. I then had a meeting that afternoon. I had an IEP, and those are meetings that we hold for students who are in special education. I do attend those meetings quite often as they are a huge part of my job. Um, I used a half box and this IEP meeting gold foiled sticker, and that is from Hazel Sticker as well. I then placed down a full box underneath that, and I honestly just love this artwork so much. Um, the watercolor and the little forest creatures are just like so up my alley. Um, then underneath that, I used a flag and a grocery icon. I believe it's from Artbox Stickers, but unfortunately her shop is now closed. Um, and I used that to mark going to Costco to grab some things that evening. At the very bottom, I used a bow header and a three heart checklist to mark some additional things that I had done that night. And because one of the things I did was get gas, I used this little car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs. On Tuesday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then I moved to the top to start memory planning my day. I first placed down a quarter box and that glasses sticker is from the Pretty Pink Co. I use that to mark a testing appointment that I had and then I decided to use a bow header in the middle of the day to cover up that gray header that is part of the planner. 
I decided to kind of plan out of order because I was trying to figure out how much space I had to mark different things that happened. And I actually found this really pretty gold foiled, like decorative piece that is from Simply Said Life, which is the same shop that my kit's from. And I just thought that was so pretty to pull in and seem to match the kit really nicely. On the scallop label, I used a gold foiled meal icon from Samantha May Sticks to mark what I had for lunch. And then that laptop sticker I used is from Nicole Hutch Designs. And I used that to mark a couple meetings that I had. Underneath the bow header, I had placed down a quarter box earlier and I used another IEP meeting from Hazel Sticker to mark another meeting that I had. And then at the end of the night, I did a Zoom chat with a group of my girlfriends. So I decided to use that little like FaceTime phone sticker um, that's from Panda Bird Designs. And I actually lifted it up because that space was a little empty and I wanted to include this really pretty piece of floral deco behind it. So I go ahead and put that down and then replace the phone icon. Moving on to Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. I think that might be my favorite box because that cabin just looks so cute and so cozy. Um, then underneath that, I used a third box with a pencil icon from Hazel Sticker to mark a morning staff meeting that I had. We have these like every Wednesday morning, so um, I do usually mark it because I don't always have a lot going on on a Wednesday. Um, then I had a training later that morning, so I decided to put that on a half box and I used an asterisk icon that came with the kit. I used another icon from the kit to mark that I did a ton of testing later that day. And then um, I was just like so tired because I was working late every single day this week um, or honestly like the entire month of November. It was just such an exhausting month. And so I used this like I quit sticker from Mochi Kichi to mark just that I was so tired. I didn't actually quit. Of course, I do love my job, but it can be very overwhelming and exhausting at times. At the very bottom, I placed down that appointment label and a puzzle sticker. I think that's from Paper Muse Crafts, um, but I used that to mark doing some puzzle later that night. And then in the remaining space, I used this little flag icon from the kit to mark that we did more house searching that night. And um, that little gold foiled bow I put down is from Chic Chic Designs. Moving on to Thursday, I first placed down a bow header at the very top. Then I used this really pretty like scallop circle icon that came in the kit. And I layered this like planner icon from Hazel sticker on top of that to mark another testing appointment that I had on Thursday morning. I placed down the full box where I knew I wanted it. And then above that in the remaining space, I used a washi strip that came with the kit. And again, the IEP meeting sticker is from Hazel sticker. I used that to mark another IEP that I had on Thursday. And um, that's kind of why this was such a crazy week because I honestly just had so many IEP meetings. So yeah, there was just a lot going on. Underneath the full box, I used a third box and this tired girl. That was a really old sticker from Artbox Stickers. Um, then I worked on my puzzle again when I got home. So I used another gold foil puzzle sticker from Paper Muse Crafts. That was pretty much it for Thursday, but I did still have a lot of space to fill. So I decided to pull in this deco sticker that came with the kit and this pillow icon from Artbox Stickers to mark that I just relaxed and then slept early. On Friday, I started by placing down a full box at the very bottom and then using a bow header on top of it to cover up that gray header on the planner. I moved to the top and first placed down a half box. That morning coffee script sticker is from Randy.Plans. And then I also added this gold foiled heart and I believe that's from the Pretty Pink Co. I had another testing appointment on Friday, so I used the sticky note icon that's from Hazel Sticker, and I paired that with a pen sticker that's from Little Star Plans, but I was recently told that she no longer carries that, so I'm super sorry about that. Um, I grabbed Del Taco for lunch that day, so I used a third box or a quarter box to mark that. The taco sticker is from Plans with Vanessa, and then Thank goodness Friday was the start of Thanksgiving break. Um, I really, really desperately needed this break to come. And so I decided to mark the start of break using this hexagon bow sticker that came with the kit. I somehow managed to do a workout that afternoon. So I marked that using a flag from the kit and layered a shoe sticker from Paper Muse Crafts on top of that. And then we just had some beers and watched TV. So I used a beer icon that came with the kit. 
that was pretty much it for Friday, just another really low key night. Um, so I go ahead and move on to the weekend. I started the weekend by laying down some washi strips and then I go ahead and place down that weekend banner that came with the kit on top of it. And then for Saturday, I actually decided to place down the full box and then a few boxes down first because I wanted to figure out or I wanted to plan out how I was going to cover up the gray headers on my planner. Those are honestly such a headache. Um, I can't really white them out because the paper doesn't match the color of my whiteout. So I always have to figure out how to cover them up using like boxes and stickers. Um, but anyways, then to start the day, I placed down a bow header with a three heart checklist to mark some things I did that morning. I did do some cleaning. So I used this little vacuum sticker and that's from Hazel sticker. We then met up with our realtor and we went to look at more houses. That little location icon came with the kit and then Saturday was a really exciting day because that was the day that we found our house. We both honestly felt really good about it as soon as we saw it. Um, we hadn't agreed on very much prior to this. Like there were places that I liked and my partner didn't like, and then there were places that he liked that I didn't like. And so it was like, whoa, we both actually like this place. It was kind of small, but very cozy. And we just felt really good about it. So we decided to put in an offer that day. Um, the house icon that I placed down is from GT Girls Designs. And then, yeah, we weren't really sure if our offer was gonna be accepted because it was a little bit below the um, listing price. And in the meantime, while we waited, um, we did a little backyard happy hour at some of our friends house that beer sticker is from dizzy daisy dreams and then it was so exciting because while we were there with our friends we got the text that our offer was accepted and we were officially going to be um, basically in the process of buying this house so it was just super crazy i felt like it all happened so quickly. It was like a whirlwind. And, um, you know, from the time that we saw the place to the time that we um, basically like started escrow was, you know, maybe six hours or something. So anyways, it was really exciting. It was the start of, you know, our new little adventure. And um, I used this like shocked emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co to mark that because I was just in shock that this was actually happening. Um, so yeah, that was our Saturday. <laughs> Then moving on to Sunday, I had decided to place down the full box first and then moving to the top of Sunday, I placed down a bow header and used a quarter box with a puzzle sticker from Planner Just For You. And I also pulled in this little bow sticker from Chic Chic Designs to add a little foil to that sticker. And then I used a really skinny box to cover up that header and that asterisk icon is from the kit. I use that to mark having chicken nuggets for lunch. They were like the dino nugs. I just absolutely love them even though I know they're like for children. Then above that, um, some of our friends came over to grab something from us really quick. And I just didn't know like what kind of icon to use to mark that. So I just pulled in this deco piece from the kit. We then went and grabbed some groceries. Initially, I used this grocery cart icon that came with the kit, um, but I don't know why I decided to switch it up and place down this grocery bag, and that's from Artbox stickers instead. I think it was just like a sizing issue, and I just felt like that fit better. Um, then on that half box that I had placed down, I used a, a foiled heart sticker that's from White Deer Stationery to mark that I did a picnic with some of my friends who were in town. Um, it was really good to see them, and we got to catch up, and yeah, it was just a great time and then that was pretty much it for Sunday I just kind of had a lazy night relaxing afterwards so I used the sleeping mask sticker and that's from simply said life I believe that pretty much concludes all of my plans for this week. So now I'm just moving back to the sidebar and um, tracking all of my workouts, my happy moments and my dinners. Um, and I didn't get a chance to talk about this, but all of the script stickers that I used in the sidebar are from the kit and the deco stickers and icons that I pulled in are also from the kit. Here are the stickers that I have left in this kit and they will be included in this leftovers giveaway. Um, and then I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I pulled in so you guys can see it a little bit better. I decided to go all out with the foils this week because I don't know, I just like really missed planning and I wanted to pull in all the beautiful stickers. Um, so yeah, it is pretty shiny. And I'm just giving you guys a closer look at my spread so you can see some of the details and um, yeah, just kind of see how it all came together. I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
Um, I hope it wasn't too difficult to watch with um, my camera shaking and like the filming situation. I promise I'm gonna try to work on that for my next video. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a work in progress. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, just a reminder, if you are interested in the leftovers giveaway, please be sure to leave your giveaway comment below so that you can be entered. And like I said, there's gonna be three winners. Um, so you definitely have a higher chance of winning this time around. So yeah, don't forget to do that if you are interested. Again, thank you all so much for watching and for your support. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.